Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing Squid Proxy Server on Linux. To get started, launch a terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Then we'll use apt install to install Squid. Once Squid is installed, we'll make sure the service is enabled to start at boot. Then we'll restart the service to make sure it's running. Next, I'll configure my Linux device to go through the proxy server by launching the system's network proxy settings. Click the settings icon across from network proxy. Select the manual option, then enter the IP address of the squid proxy server beside each protocol you'd like to use the proxy for, and set the port to 3128. With the proxy settings configured, close out of the network proxy dialog. To demonstrate that we're actually going through the squid proxy server, I'll open a browser window and navigate to github.com to show that I'm currently able to reach it. Next, I'll edit the squid.com file and add an access control list blocking github.com. After making changes to the config file, make sure to restart the squid service for the changes to take effect. Now if I go back to the browser and try to refresh github.com, I won't be able to reach it because the proxy server is blocking access. But if I try to reach sites not blocked by the access control list, I can reach them as normal. Now I'll disable the proxy server in my network settings to regain access to github.com. There are a lot of use cases for a proxy server. This is a very basic example of how you can use it to block access to certain sites.